I don't have the audio. I just got it. I didn't have it before. I don't know what that means, but anyway, it doesn't matter. From Straw Hut Media, <laughs> this is Brandy Glanville on the film. Hey guys, it's Brandy Glanville. I am going to be laying out my backyard very soon. Uh, we have Casey Cohen from Below Deck on today, and I'm excited to talk to her because we all know I love all things Below Deck. Like I could talk to anyone from Below Deck. Um, <laughs> and I have a surprise for you. Well, she does. So we'll get into it. Wait, hold on. Before we get into it, tell me your your the things you remember the most about Casey from her time in Below Deck. Okay, so Casey lied on her resume Ooh. and said that she had more experience than she had, and then she got Ooh. found out, and that she was super pretty, but she had very brassy hair, and it was stressing me out because I get brassy, and I live for purple shampoo, and I wanted to ship her some. What does brassy mean? What does that mean? Orangey. What means okay. brassy, that color. Like the back of oh, your curtain. Oh, got it. The, okay. Behind your head, those curtains are brassy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, so let's bring her on and see if she remembers any of this. Well, okay, well, let's get into this because Below Deck is my favorite show on TV. So yeah, okay. I've had, and Kate Chastain's one of my favorite humans on the planet. I love her. Um, she's having a baby I in, on May 2nd. Woo, woo, woo. It's so soon. I can't wait. I I'm so excited for her. Her baby, I don't know if she, I'm supposed to tell people this, but she's Bre the the baby's Breach. Um, okay. And I was born Breach with the Were cord you? wrap. Yes. <laughs> so I'm like, we have so much in common. We're going to have the best baby ever. Best so, baby. Phenomenal yes. human. Yeah, yes. definitely. I'm going to give her like a month before I go to visit because I know how hell it is when you have a baby and everyone wants to come over and you feel like shit mm -hmm. and you're just like crying and don't touch the baby and here's Purell and so I'm going to give her a little while but um okay. <laughs> so I remember on your season did you yes. kind of lie on your um what do you call it your my CV yes because I remember you said well I've worked in restaurants and <laughs> I've yeah. done but yeah so I Yes and, and no. Basically, I I had certain experience, but I had given it to a friend to zhuzh up a little bit. And I wanted to just like get it in as quick as possible. So when they sent it back to me, I just sent it in. I, I like skimmed it and then just sent it in, not really knowing that like me having restaurant service, they then changed it to silver service, which is completely oh. different. Yeah, no, I don't know what that is. Yeah. So it's basically like the white gloves is that the, the, the white, white gloves, gloves like michelin star like put like yeah, that no. kind of thing so did i know that no um it you know blew up in my face but <laughs> i feel like that's completely teachable though like if you're there it's not i mean it's not that difficult to learn the different silverware and to right. serve on the right and you know i mean i don't it's that i feel like they made it a bigger deal than it needed to be right and i completely agree with that because Again, I I was the like the third stew. I was an entry level position, which is the position where you have to teach them how things go anyway. Yeah. And so Brooke was very good in teaching me like, you know, the different types of silverware for the different types of meats or, or courses or whatever. And within like, I don't know, a day or two, I knew it. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal either, but I do understand, you know. <laughs> I hurt some I people. Mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't think you hurt anyone. I don't think that, like, I think we all lie on resumes to an extent. Yeah. Like, little tiny things aren't that big of a deal. And plus, once you're on a boat, what are they going to do? Yeah, like, literally. Throw you, me off. Like, walk, walk the plank. <laughs> exactly. Um, as, as long as you're good. Like, I would, like, I used to be a housekeeper when I was younger. I worked at a ton of restaurants. So I feel like I could do it. But I suck at laundry and I cannot make a bed to save my life. Like, I don't know. I feel like. I just can't do it. But Kate and I kind of bonded over because I spilled red wine. She's like, you need to get this for that. And like, so we bonded over our cleaning experience. I and love everyone's that. like, that's so weird. But I'm like, oh, we're, <laughs> we're normal chicks. Um, now, did you did you do uh, this job to get on TV or was it you really just wanted to do the job? Um, I really just wanted to do the job. Um, so 
I guess like you could see on the show, like on my CV, I had worked on boats before. It's just they weren't overnights. And so I had watched the show before, um, like with my mom and stuff like that. She loves Bravo. And I was like, I do this already. Like, I would love to go and, and travel overseas and do it there, you know, and do overnights. And so I was like, I could definitely do this. Like, and I think it would be way more fun if I could do overnights. So I didn't know it was going to be in Italy, but definitely thought that it was like an experience I really wanted to do. Now, did you think that it was going to be as much work as it was? Because you guys seemed like you worked a lot. Yeah. So did not know it was going to be that much. I think, you know, having done it just during the day, like, yes, you work a lot, but it's it's completely different when it's like, a, not 24 hours, but like morning, day and night. And then you wake up early type of thing. And there's just when you do overnight trips, you're doing laundry on top of that. And, and like, yeah, turning down beds and all that. It's just a lot. So I didn't expect it to be as much work. And then when you're watching the show, I mean, you're getting a 45 minute clip of what's happening in like three days. You know what I'm right, saying? Of course, that's how they all are. Yeah. Right. So you don't actually get to see all the work that we're doing. And I was just like, oh, like it'll be fine. And then I get there and I was exhausted the whole time. <laughs> I mean, it was great, it, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I think I think that that's why it's my favorite show, because not only are you guys filming mm -hmm. and you guys don't have any time to get ready. I mean, for the most part, you're filming you. I mean, not that you, anyone looked like shit, but I'm just saying you're not getting hair and makeup and getting ready and putting on a ball gown and going out. You're right. working and you're filming. And it's hard enough to think about cameras being on you all the time yeah. and like what if you fuck up or what if you pick your nose not that we do that because we're not gross but exactly. you know what I mean it's just like it's almost like big brother meets housewives in a weird way mm -hmm. but but then you have to do manual labor so that's what yeah. I feel like I'm like this is an, a like a legit show mm -hmm. but I have a question so do you think since you've been on because it's been a while what, what yeah. season were you on I was on season three of the Med, so it's been like five ish years now. Okay, probably. and who yeah. was your chief stew? Hannah. Oh, I love Hannah too. We've we've, <laughs> gotten, we've gotten a little trouble in Los Angeles ourselves. But I mean, <laughs> who doesn't? Right, but she didn't seem like the easiest to work with. But um, you know, I like her as a human. I just don't want to work for her. Uh, <laughs> I will say Hannah as a human, um, I mean, me and her have our little differences, but as a human, I think she, she's a great person, but as a boss, yeah, it's, I, we just, it was tough. We conflicted her teachings like is different from my learning. And so we did struggle with that, but as a, as a human, and I'm sure she's a, you know, she's a great boss. It's just, it didn't work with my style of learning. Right. Um, but as a human being, she's, she's a great person. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, she's a great party or I love to party that with too. her. <laughs> she's very fun to party with. Um, I don't think I could work for her. I don't know. I just, she's too, I don't know. I need someone to really take their time with me Same. and, and like explain it rather than talk at me. I want them to talk to me. So yeah. there's that. And like, it's just like, get this done and then not show you how to do it. Yeah. Um, that's what like, I struggled with. <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. Not, and so who was your favorite cast member and who was your least favorite? Because I'm struggling to remember who's on season three besides Hannah. Um, so, I mean, I could give you a list of the cast if you want. Like it was um, Adam was the chef. It was the second season. We Ooh, had, he's hot. Uh, we had um, Conrad who had his little thing with Hannah. Um, Brooke, Joao, Colin, Jamie. Am I forgetting anyone else? I don't think so. I think that was our whole group. And then Sandy. Oh, yeah. I, lo I love Sandy. She was just on the podcast. But I have a very big issue with Joao. Okay. Why? What's your issue with Joao? Tell me. <laughs> I just felt like he was such a misogynistic pig, honestly, like, and so degrading towards women. And mm -hmm. like, it's his way or the highway. A lot. My best friend's madly in love with him. So we all have our, like, different. Yeah. Yes. But I just... I just, when a man speaks to a woman the way like he was speaking to everyone, yeah, I'm really glad his foot didn't get caught in that thing, but mm -hmm. I'm, I feel like it took him down a notch. Like I was like, all right, just know you're not Superman. So how, what, what, what is your feeling about Joao? So I totally see what everyone's saying. It's just, I also got to, and I think Brooke would say the same thing. We got to see a different side of Joao than like, I guess a lot was aired because again, he was 
his main issue was with Hannah. Yeah. And think about it. It's like these, these big personalities and they just conflict. Like someone has to be like the, the one who catches the attention in the room and they're both those types of people. So I think it was like a very big like battle against the two of them. But I personally, oh, so I didn't like that part, like of how he spoke to Hannah and stuff like that. But I, I really loved how, like when I was going through like my seasickness or how, like when the whole news oh, about, that's right. I forgot yep, about that. Yep. So I loved how, like when I was going through that, um, specifically, like he was the one who was checking up on me. He was the one who was bringing mm. me like electrolytes or waking me up in the middle of the night to bring me something to eat because he's like, you got to eat, you got to do something. Cause I couldn't keep anything down. And then oh. like, if he like, cause his room was next him and Colin's room was right next to mine and Jamie's. So if he heard me like throwing up or something like that, he would come in, he would walk me up to the, like, I don't know, like, t like above, like the, the kitchen was or something, either the kitchen or just like outside where like, I, he's like, I want you to look at the horizon. It's going to help you like center and like get equilibrium. And like, he would stay with me. And so that's something that they didn't air, which it shows that he like truly cared about me getting, and this is right. like in the beginning before he even knew me, before he like thought that he had like a crush on me or whatever. I was going to say, he like, he's really sweet, but I think he might want to fuck you. So. <laughs> I mean, yes, but it was, it was right in the beginning. So I don't know. And then when the whole thing with the CV happened, he was very much like, you know, just prove yourself. He's like, I know you're smart. I know you can do it. Like, and he was the only one who really had my back at that moment because Hannah was going around telling everybody, like, you know, she needs to get off the boat. She lied and, and all this kind of stuff. And so he was the one who had my back. So right. I see everyone's point. But at the same time, like, I saw a different side to him. And I think it's right. just like he needed to adjust how he spoke to people who would be combative with him. Right. So, I mean, everyone has a different experience. I only know what I see on TV. You know what I mean? Right, what they show course. you. Yeah, and they do, they do end up showing highlights of bad behavior. But if somebody woke me up in the middle of the night to feed me, I'd be pissed because I like my sleep. But <laughs> that's very sweet. Yes, it was very sweet. So so who is your least favorite? Um. Ooh. I mean, it's not that like, if they're like my least favorite, it's like, I don't have like an issue. It's just, I think it had to have like been Hannah only because we would Realize butt heads a lot. Heads. Yeah. And it's not like I have anything against her. Like I wish her well and that kind of thing. It's just, it was, I didn't connect with her as much as I connected with everybody else, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you only have a few people to pick from, so it's not, right. <laughs> you have right. to pick someone. I would make you pick someone. Um, and did you had a showman's, didn't you? I did. It was me, Joao, and Brooke. It was our little love triangle. <laughs> There's a lot of cast changes lately that upset mm -hmm. me. I don't Okay, tell like me. It. Tell me. Um, I just don't I'm not invested. I don't remember people's names anymore. I, I like I it was hard for me to watch Below Deck Adventure because I just didn't all new you know, I didn't people. care. Yeah. It's yeah. like, wait, I need somebody familiar from last season. Mm -hmm. Or two people at least that, or so bring somebody like I like when they bring like Eddie back, or they brought you know. Uh -huh. some, I just love so Eddie that, too. Yeah, just so that you like like oh yeah, you know. And now Captain Lee is not going to be back. Like I was going to say, how do you feel about that? I don't know what's going to happen. Like it, he's been from the beginning. I just can't I see know. him not there. I. I love Captain Lee. And when Me he too. did my podcast, like we were talking so much, Ryan cut us off because we could have talked for hours. <laughs> um, I don't, you know, listen, I, it's going to be hard to be invested in anyone new. I like, I yeah. just, it's like when a new housewife comes on or a new person comes on the show, everyone just kind of like, oh, who is this? Yeah. You gotta earn it. Right. So, I mean, I hope they get, I mean, I feel like Captain Lee at this point with like his injuries and stuff, he deserves to go chill on a beach somewhere. Yeah. I mean, but if, if he wanted to work, I would say yes, work. But I know there's like a safety issue because he has to be able to move quickly. And yeah. I heard the whole story. Like I looked at it on Twitter and I was like, oh, this sucks because I I don't know. I, I'm not going to change like my phone. I'll have my phone forever. It's cracked all over. Same. So I'm not going to we'll, change either. Yeah. So we'll see. I, I you know, I'm, they better not do anything with Sandy, but I hope um, not. No, they can't. I hope not. 
And then, so would you go back and do it again? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. I would love to go back and do it again. Have you worked on a boat since you left there? Yeah. So after that, I did like a few stuff like back home again with the day charters, like, um, with, um, Sapphire princess, uh, charters. And then, um, every once in a while I'd get someone that would like DM me and be like, Hey, like, can you work on this boat? Or, Hey, like we have an opening just for a few weeks or whatever. Like, can you fly to Florida? And I'm like, yeah, like whatever. So I've picked up things randomly. Um, I now moved to San Diego. I mean, I'm still basically like by coastal, but I moved to San Diego. And so I have a few people here hit me up because I live like right by the marina that are like, Hey, like we are stew down. Like, do you mind like hopping on? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So every once in a while, it's very random. So, because most of the people that, you know, do these kind of things, they live in Florida. Like mm-hmm. almost everyone I know that is in yachting is in Florida. Cause yeah. I'm like, hmm. my best friend lives there. He's like, this is the yacht. This is where all the yachts dock. And I didn't know, I didn't know anything. And then yep. in Fort Lauderdale for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think I could live in Florida just cause of all the crackheads, but <laughs> there's crackheads everywhere these days. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, like. Like even being in San Diego, there's so many like crackheads and like I I go to Los Angeles at least like once or twice a week now, um, and crackheads are everywhere too. I'm just well, like shocked. Yeah, there's not a lot of crackheads in Calabasas because everyone's yeah. married. Um, that's where <laughs> I live, but it's very nice. boring here. I wish it was more crackheady because it would be more excited mm-hmm. exciting for me. But if you go to Hollywood, like I go to Hollywood and I lock my doors if i have to go there for something mm-hmm. it's it's like meth mania um yep. but what are you doing now are you modeling like why are you coming to la um so la was i mean yes like i'm modeling and i do photo shoots or auditions but um the consistency with la is because i'm a, a sheen live stream model so i do like a bunch of shows oh. during the, yeah so i do okay. a bunch of shows with them so they're great i love them yeah, it's like really affordable stuff, Sheen, right? Yep, it's basically like the um, what do you call it? The competitor competitor to Fashion Nova and stuff like that. If you're more familiar with that, I love Fashion Nova. I love Sheen, but I end up buying more shit from Fashion Nova. It's like if I have to go to a trip, like, and you can never wear it again. Not yeah. that you know what I mean. Just because it's like, you know, you spend thirty dollars on something and then you're good. But they right, have very 100%. sexy clothes, you know. So yeah. I say it's worth it. My friend's like, where'd you get that? I'm like, oh, this website. I try not to tell everyone my secret. <laughs> I'm like, Fashion Nova or Sheen or, and then all of a sudden Tamara has it on. I'm like, no, I shouldn't have told you. No, don't do that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would you do for a million dollars? I mean, I can think of a lot of things. It doesn't go as far as it used to. The $2 million puzzle can help you answer at least one of those questions. It's a 500 piece QR code that when finished reveals a prize ranging from $1, which we know I'll take it, to $1 million. Just last month, someone won $100,000. That buys a lot of rosé, let's be clear, and some vodka too now, apparently. You can get yours now. Typically, they're about $30, but we have a very special unfiltered deal for you for only $20. Get it now with code BRANDY20. Again, that's a chance to win $1 million for the cost of $20 with code BRANDY20. You could win $1 million for just $20. That's code BRANDY20. So that's exciting. So what's next for you? Do you want to get, you want to get back on TV? Do you want to be on the next Below Deck? Yeah. I mean, I would love to go back on TV. I would love to go back on to Below Deck. Um, I guess it just depends on what opportunities arise. I mean, I've got offered to be on Love Island. I've got offered to be on, yeah, I've got offered to be on X, X on the beach and stuff like that. And like, I love Love Island too, but like, I don't want to fight for someone's love, you know? And, and now I'm in a relationship. I mean, I'm married now. So oh, like, shit. okay. Yeah. You can't yeah. do Love Island. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's out of the picture, <laughs> but you're not doing Love Island. You could do right. the circle. Have you, do you watch the circle? I do watch the circle. Um, I wouldn't mind doing the circle or big brother or that kind of thing. Um, yeah, those are fun. 
honestly, I feel like, and I don't know if they would do this, but like, I kind of like the traders, like with Kate Chastain and all them, but like, I would love if they did something like, I was on that show too, by the way. Oh yeah, you were. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you were. I had the, the was with Kate. Kate stayed a lot longer than I did, but I was there with her. Yes, yes, yes. I remember my bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like something like that, or like I think that they should do like a you know how like the real world challenge. They would get like people from all different MTV shows and put them to compete for something. Like yeah, like physical challenge. You know, like I feel like that's like that could be something too. Like maybe not called the challenge, but. But are you really big into exercise? I mean, I, I do like work out a lot, but like, mm-hmm. I don't know if I can like swing from like a thing or jump out of a plane and run like 10 miles. No, fuck that. I think it'd be funny. Yeah, I mean, I would just cry and not do it. So right. like they were like, would you, would you ever want to be on Survivor? I'm like, I would no. not survive. <laughs> like I'm good. Like, I mean, I don't like, I don't have a fear of like, snakes or because i have boys i have two teenage boys so right well, actually one's gonna be 20 he's not gonna even be a teenager anymore i yeah. can't believe that you have like a like a 20 year old Brand- like brandy you look amazing well thank you that's sweet they keep me young they're party <laughs> they're my party partners good um but my other son just turned 16 we had a big party for him but nice. you know i go on i've done so many of these competition shows and i love them yeah. but i've never i've never won anything and it makes me so mad i want to win i told kate i'm like let's win and split the money so we yeah. had this whole plan but then my mouth i have a big mouth i couldn't help it i'm like <laughs> you're a fucking traitor you're a traitor i i lost it i was just like <laughs> Oh, but thank God Kate stayed and she would, she went through it, that poor girl. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that they should do, you know, these ultimate girls trips that are, they're fun, but not just with housewives. I know they should do it with everyone from like different shows and stuff Take like that. Take somebody from each show yeah. and like, cause you know, like you're going to get a housewife that wants to be waited on and then you're going to have someone from below deck, like get your own luggage, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think that could be really interesting. And then, I think it would know, be, yeah. Right? Because I, the housewives are divas for the most part. I am mm-hmm. not. But a lot of them are like, you know, 18 bags for four days. And you're just like, oh, my God, this is That's crazy. Too much. Yeah, definitely. I think I think it would be a nice balance, like like you said. And it would probably bring, like... Dr- drama, for sure. Because people oh, would be 100%. like... Do not be... You're so entitled. I just feel like it would be... I think I even pitched it to Andy. I'm like... What if we got some, you know, because I wanted Kate to come on the last one. Yeah. <laughs> but she, she was pregnant. But I mean, like, she would not put up with their shit. Like, no, she period. wouldn't. And she no. would be like, enough, sit down, get your own crap, and let's go. You know? <laughs> right. And she wouldn't say it with, like, just, like, straight without any expression. Like, yeah. No, you can sit and eat and just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that she's able to do that. You know, very, oh gosh, like, yeah. very, yeah. She's low key, like she very rarely raises her voice. And I'm like very emotional. Like I'm always, I'm either yelling or talking or crying. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. a range of emotion. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do feel like I met like my, she's like me 10 years ago, but just better at being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like I know she can be, but like she's just so sweet to me. Like, She's literally no, like, she's, she's very yeah, sweet. Yeah, she's if very you cross sweet. That bitch, do not oh my cross god, her. no, not at all. She will read better than any housewife I've ever met. Like the read that she gave this woman, yeah. Everyone started to get up and leave the room because it was our producer, and I just sat there with my popcorn. I was like, "This is amazing," and I didn't want to leave her in the room by herself either. <laughs> but I was like, "Yeah, she's good. She's good, and she's powerful. Like mm-hmm. she's very powerful, which is great." Yeah, because she's so smart. So tell me about your husband. How did you meet him? How long have you been married? So I actually have a wife. Oh, you have a wife. Awesome. I do have a wife. Yeah. Um, That's amazing. I did not know that. Yeah. So how did we meet? We met on Bumble. We were together for two years and then we got married. Like literally wow. like three weeks ago. Yeah. So very, very recent. Oh my God. That's amazing. So I'm nice. on Hinge. I don't love it. I haven't tried Bumble yet, but you like Bumble? I like Bumble. I mean, it was, I was like so against like the dating apps. And then I kind of just downloaded it as like a joke um, with like my friends. And then she was 
if not the first person, one of the first people that like I had swiped wow. on. I think I'll try that one because like the hand just turned into kind of like a new Tinder and it's like everyone really? just wants to hook. It's like everyone just wants to hook up and like that's not, I mean, I've been there, I've done that, I'm good. You right. know what I mean? Like I want to meet somebody with, you know, a quality person. Have you tried that one where it's like for not celebrities, but people who are like of influence? No, because I think that when you think you're that cool that I yeah. don't want to date you like yeah. oh, I'm so special I'm not good you know I'm too good for Bumble or Hinge right and I pretty much know most of those people anyway <laughs> okay like, I was gonna say I'm good <laughs> I probably dated half of them um so wait have you always been could, would you consider yourself bisexual yeah I mean I never like labeled it but I guess yes it would be bisexual and um I think it's not like always but ever since I was in like my early 20s I then started to like wonder and then like I always had like a I always appreciated like women's beauty but I didn't yeah. know if it was because I wanted to be with them or if I wanted to be them right and and so when I like kind of started experimenting I was like no I, I like I like both you know and yeah. I do I do like the I guess the relationships more with women um but I do you know still am attracted to men and whatnot but yeah. Um, but that's amazing. I don't. We didn't know that on Below Deck, did we? We did not, no. No, we did not. All right, guys, no, it's like surprise. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Everyone really says that. You. Everyone says it's like a surprise and they like, you know, look at my like social media or whatever. They'll be like, wait, you're dating a girl or oh, wait, now you're married to a girl. And then they're like, we had no idea. Well, I was looking at it and all I saw were thirst traps of this hat. I'm like, oh, all right, okay. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations. That's amazing. And thank you. I think it's important for people to talk about that because a lot of there's a lot of stigma around men can talk about it, but women can't. And that right. bugs me a lot. You know, there's always a very outspoken gay guy on below deck. You know, you know, there's Kyle, there's Joel. Well, not Joel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the guy? Josiah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's all, you know, ever no one makes a quip about it, but then when it's us everyone's like <gasps> yeah. you know and it's like mm, guys, and then they seem the that it's like fake or anything like that or like right. a guy can like change our minds and whatnot and it's like I'm so in love with like my wife and like I don't even think about anyone else or anything you know what I'm saying and it's no, just like that love that you feel is just so pure yeah so pure and sometimes it's just sex with that really hot chick. And that's okay, too. Exactly. Yeah. It Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> right. I just think people need to be a little less like, oh, my God, you know, collecting their pearls when it's a girl, when it's a guy. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. And, oh, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, for men, coming out as gay it took a really long time for them to be accepted. And it's still really difficult. Yeah. But uh, for women, we're either slut shamed or like, I can't believe that. Are you sure? Are you just trying to get attention? Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's exhausting because I almost would rather not even answer people's questions. Sorry, I asked you that. But it's just no, you're like, fine. I don't feel the need to have to explain myself. This is right. what it is. And go fuck yourself. Hundred percent, yeah. Like, get out of my business, <laughs> right? So, I have, but how would your wife feel if you had to leave on a trip to um, go on below deck? I think she would definitely miss me like a whole lot, but oh, yeah. she would be so excited for me and proud, and she'd probably want to come visit at some point, you know. Um, but yeah, she's she totally like understands it and whatnot. Well, how long are the trips when you go on charter? So. Like, it depends on the charter, but like, if we're talking specifically with like below deck, they're usually like six to eight weeks. Wow. Yeah. That's a long, that's a long time. It is a long time. But me and, um, me and my wife used to do long distance for a little bit and we would go maybe at most like three weeks without seeing each other, which I know isn't that big of a deal, but I obviously if we're married. Like it wouldn't be, it would be hard, but it wouldn't be like grueling, you know, I'm so okay, thankful. Yeah, I mean, I think also when you're on top of not, not literally on top of each other, but when you don't, <laughs> when you don't have your own thing going on, yeah, it can be a little bit like I think when you when you miss someone, mm -hmm. that is, I I love missing people. Like if I'm like if I see the same per except for my kids, like I always miss them. Yeah, unless they're annoying me and they're upstairs and they want a hamburger. Like I'm a waitress, which I bring, <laughs> I will bring it to them anyway, but I'll yell at them first. Um, right. But I like I like the thought of missing someone. I don't I don't know that I want to be 
with, I mean, yes, I want to be with someone, but for me, having a bi-coastal boyfriend would be my jam or girlfriend, yeah. but yeah. I mostly date guys. I just, I have had relationships with women, but in general, it tends to be men, just mm-hmm. depends on who the person is. Right. But I don't, I have a, like a messy house right now. I wouldn't, all my nail shit's over there. Like my skin shit, my bills. There's no, yeah, no. <laughs> There's no way that someone can enter your space. No. And, and, and add on to the, uh, to the mess, I guess. <laughs> no, ha- have your, I don't want them to know I have all this mess. I want them to think my nails just grew in like this. And I woke up like this. I woke you up, know up what I mean? Up, yeah. No, <laughs> right? I get it. No. But I mean, it's been so lovely talking to you. You too. And I love that your hair is blonder now because it was a little bit orangey. Remember? Yes, yes, I do remember. I like. Yeah. I, I literally wanted to ship you purple shampoo because <laughs> I get my hair whenever I get it colored, it goes or it like no matter what, it turns yep. orange. I don't know if it's my shower or what, but I have to have purple shampoo almost every day on hand. So, yes. Yeah. So yeah. that was that was my takeaway from you with you. I was like, she's so beautiful. Thank I you. Just, I just want her to have purple shampoo. Shampoo. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so good talking to you. I wish you and your wife all the happiness in the world. Thank you so much for having me. It's been lovely talking with you. Of course. And I'm sorry about Chihuahua. I still don't like him. It's okay. <laughs> Well, Brandy, tell me how you feel about Casey. Okay, so I love Casey. (laughs) And I'm kind of like, it really threw me for a hot second when she said my wife, because on the boat, she had like some showman's flirtations with all dudes. I mean, it was shocking, but like in the best possible way. Yeah, I think that, but it's crazy. (laughs) Yeah, I guess it's just not, I don't know. I, I, I feel like it. Like I want to have her back on the boat. Would you? Well, she said she would do it, but she wouldn't yeah. be able to be involved in any romances. Yeah, there's other shit you can do on that boat. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> drugs. Yeah, no, you can't do drugs because then <laughs> somebody will turn you in. Named Malia. She's been on our pod too. She turned in Hannah for a pot pen. I'm going to show you guys my bathing suit because it's really cute. For those of you that are only listening, Brandy has stepped back so you can see the bikini top. And she's now I'm not going to show you guys my abs yet because I only have one, but they're getting there. And I've been doing squats. Like, I can... You want to know what I can do with my butt? <laughs> <laughs> what can you do with your butt? <laughs> this It's very, it's even better than twerking. Um, I showed Mark. I'm going to think about showing you guys. But now I'm nervous. <laughs> No, no, no. Save it and do it at the happy hour. Uh, no, I need, I'm not going to do it at happy hour. I, (laughs) I, but it is very special. It's better than twerking, apparently. Can you describe it? Yeah. Um, so because I've been doing squats, like I sit and I go like this, so I can do one muscle, one muscle, one muscle. So I can make one butt cheek shake. And then the other butt cheek shake and then go one, 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 but not like a twerk, like a squat shake. And then I can go I'm really fast on it. the right side. <laughs> I'm doing it right now on the right side because a long time ago, Robin Anton was on the pod. I don't, I think yeah. Will was my producer then. And she told me to do these things in bed. Like you squeeze your butt, you squeeze your butt. And like, you put your leg under, I do them in bed all the time for like 10 years now. Because of that one interview. Yeah, because her body's sick. And I bet I bet it's working. I bet oh, it's working. Hello. If I can do these tricks, it's working. Mark was <laughs> obsessed with it. He made me do it a lot. But like if you get nervous, then you tense up and you have to ha- you have to be loose. How many minutes would you say you do it every night? I do it all day every I like I forget. Like I'm in the grocery store. I was in the CVS line and I forget you can actually see it. Because I feel like it's under clothes, so you can't really see it. But I was wearing like leggings from like yoga leggings yeah. that I don't don't actually work out. And I was like, ding, 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 ding. And this guy behind me started laughing. And I'm like, oh, sorry. I go, just doing my exercises. So that was, I've realized, unless I'm because wearing a loose. So you're probably, people are, when, when women wear leggings, it's like their butt is just out already. 
Right. And, and then, these are like soft cotton ones with like a bell bottom at the bottom. So they weren't like holding me tight. So I was just like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and then you do a little dance, your butt shake. And of course, yeah. your eyes are going to go draw, get drawn to it. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I was thinking it was just me exercising, standing in line. Did you have your mask on? Always, especially when you go to CVS. Like if I'm going to a pharmacy, that's where sick people pick up their meds. I will yeah. always have a mask on at the pharmacy. That's smart. I think I do the same. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I still wear a mask when I go out, so I don't have to put on makeup. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense too. That's also very convenient. But I, yeah. I'll, as you know, I have given up my bandana, so I don't... <sighs> I want to buy a ping pong table. Oh, I'm pretty good. I would beat you. No, you wouldn't beat me because I'm real I good. I actually I... used to. I'm really good at pool. Well, here's the problem. Since I burned my retinas and I can't see anymore, I wonder if that's going to affect my games. You burned your... Wait, what? When did this I'm happen? I burned during COVID and that whole thing, all the oh, burning. I didn't realize that that burned your retinas. I couldn't see for four days, right? That's when I visited you in the at the hospital, right? No, that was, that was when different. my arm swelled up to like the size of a. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, 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 right. Good times. Um. So yeah, Casey was awesome. I really like yeah. her, and she's got the purple shampoo thing down. Um. She's moving to L.A. She's gonna. Move oh, that's to LA. good. So I'll have. We a were friend. talking before you came on, and she says that oh, she's driving up sure. to L.A. like once or twice a week right now, from San Diego, and so she's gonna move. San Diego is much prettier than LA, though. I would stay in San Diego and do the drive. Really? And do the drive? Yeah. I wonder if cost of living is cheaper there or if it's the same. That's a little more expensive, I think. I mean, I don't is know. It? Trina, my, my other best friend, lives there and they own a condo, but it's pretty. I mean, they're in La Jolla, so La Jolla is expensive. That's probably the most expensive part of San Diego, yeah. La Jolla. So, all right. I um, have something to tell you. What is it? You should listen to Teresa Judice's podcast, Namaste Bitches. Oh. It's out today. That's right. We could post okay, it today. I will. I will. The people that do her podcast are super, super nice. Oh. <laughs> no, they are. I'm just saying as in comparison to some you. others. Or oh, me. <laughs> I'm just joking. I thought you were going to get that I was fucking with you and you didn't get it. Oh, my word. My brain's all over the place right now. Okay, so. Yeah, I am. I have a lot to do. I have to get my bank statements. I'm getting a condo. I'm buying one. Maybe. Are you really? Maybe. Supposedly. I'm so nervous. I'm like lagging about looking at them. Oh, uh, well, I'm really proud of you and I hope you do. Well, me too. I hope I work again, though. <laughs> I might be going to Australia, I hear. What? Why? Uh, for a show. Oh. Yeah. Why would I? Why else would I go? Even though they have the hottest guys I've ever seen there. You love Australia, and I think Australia loves you. I think it's I like the it. second, like over Canada. I mean, obviously, the U.S. is your biggest listenership, but second. Australia. Australia. I love Australia. They love and they love you because they're listening to you right now. All right. I love you, Aussies. Um, we're gonna go. Yeah. Thanks for listening to Brandy Glanville Unfiltered. Download new episodes every week, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And be sure to leave us a rating and review. And while you're at it, check out some of the other great shows available on Straw Hut Media. <laughs>